Film Studios presents the 53rd. They were trained slowly and carefully. In space, they were to carry out at least 20 experiments in a week's time. One was quite unusual. Alexander Sidibrov is a candidate of technical sciences. Leonid Popov, the commander, Svetlana Savitska, test pilot. They were told that serious illnesses were treated with medicines prepared of super pure biological matter. One gram of this matter costs almost a million rubles, for on Earth the process of preparing it is highly complex because of gravity. Weightlessness facilitates the electrophoresis process. The live mixture in the field of electricity will separate quickly and mainly cleaner. The experiment, however, must be carried out extremely carefully and with finesse. Most likely that is why the job was assigned to a crew where a woman's gentle hand was available. The point is that gas bubbles could appear in the solution and interfere in cell division. On Earth, they evaporate quickly. But what will happen in space? No one knew the answer to that. They were fully aware of their responsibility. This problem concerned millions of people and their hopes to save lives. Who could have thought that cures for incurable illnesses could come from space? Just 20 years ago, we were groping our way in near-Earth space research. The whole world applauded the courage of the first woman who went up into space. She was applauded by Yuri Gagarin and Chief Constructor Karolyov. At that time, ninth grader Svetlana Savitska was just entering the Chkalov Flying Club. This was followed by the Aviation Institute and then the Yakovlev Designing Bureau. Eighteen flying and parachute world records and then space. Svetlana and her team were met by Anatoly Bidizovoy and Valentin Lebedev, who were living in space and comfort with an electric range refrigerator and shower. On August 19, 1982, Leonid Popov, Alexander Sidibrov, and Svetlana Savitska blasted off from Earth and headed for the Salute 7 station. The crew immediately started their space functions. They recall their training with the help of the French astrophysical camera.
Its electron multipliers seem to penetrate the depths of the universe, and suddenly through the customary starry sky, another invisible world seems to appear. The pupil of the eye helps to determine the ability of the vestibule to adapt to weightlessness. Leonid Popov photographed them sometimes. He always had a camera nearby and they soon began to feel as though they had been working together for a long time. Almost unexpectedly, the day of the experiment arrived. Svetlana introduced the biomatter into the Tavria apparatus. Electrophoresis started. Suddenly, what everyone feared began. Those on Earth who first saw the appearance of gas bubbles did not know how worried the designers of Tavaria were. For Svetlana, everything was blocked off except the memory of one day during training when the thought passed through her mind, would their hands be able to carry out the experiment in weightlessness? She kept recalling every movement of the hands of the specialists, doctors, and Alexander Sidibrov, all who had taught her. No, she was sure there was no mistake. There couldn't be. She wanted very much for the experiment to be successful. As a woman, she felt, possibly more than the others, how important this experiment was for people. Could it be that this feeling guided her hands and prevented the bubbles from appearing? The cells were shedding all that they didn't need. The fractions were becoming ever more homogeneous. The live matter was becoming purer and purer. Two, three, five times purer than in terrestrial conditions. Producing super pure cells was about 500 times more productive in space than on Earth. For their courage and heroism, they will receive high government awards. Leonid Popov was in space three times already. Alexander Sidibrov was cosmonaut number 52. Svetlana Savitska was number 53.
Script Vladimir Kapitanovsky, Consultants Cosmonaut Doctor of Technical Sciences Alexei Eliseyev and Oleg Mitichkin. Direction Dmitry Antonov, Camera of Sevalad Afanasyev, Igor Krylov and Valery Tazeddinov.